up everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. Today is my follow up on the cold and hot throw of Industry Fragrance Co's brand new fragrance oils. If you missed the first video, I'll link it here. Definitely check that out and then come back and watch this video. This is how these fragrance oils performed in the wax that I use with my wick and my vessel. Your mileage may vary, so keep that in mind. So the wax that I used is Golden Brands 444 and it's in a four ounce tin vessel and I'm using a CD cotton wick. Because it's soy, I did let these cure for the full two weeks before burning. And I've recently adopted a number scale um, to rate the cold and the hot throw. I've been watching a lot of fragrance oil videos and I'm realizing that I've kind of missed the boat here. Everyone is using a numbered scale and I think that's a little more specific and explicit than me saying it has a strong or a weak throw. So <laughs> you'll see that change here in today's video. All right, we're gonna start with coffee and cream. In my first impressions video, I had mentioned that the cream was not really present. I couldn't really smell it. Um, it just smelled like a fresh brewed cup of coffee. Well, in the cold throw, which I am rating a 3.5 out of five, it is super sweet. It def the cream is way more front and center. I don't know if I was just nose blind that day, but this is why it's always great to put fragrance oil in a candle, but I digress. So the cream is definitely way more prominent for me this candle smells like a creamy cup of fresh brewed coffee. The hot throw pretty much stayed the same. It's a 3.5 out of five. It's very sweet coffee. Again, it smells like what it did in the hot, in the cold throw. And that is just like a perfectly creamy, sweet cup of coffee. It has a very holistic scent. Everything is just, a, it's, it's a perfect amalgam of all of the notes that you see on the label. I really like this one. All right, let's move on to fresh strawberries and ocean air. So I rated the cold throw a 2.5 out of five. Um, it wasn't very strong. So for me, it was more of like a floral, fruity, fresh scent. Um, it's more floral than fruity. The strawberries are still there and noticeable, but I'm picking up more on the cyclamen. I also smell cucumber in the cold throw, which is also probably part of the cyclamen. Um, I still cannot detect the rose whatsoever in this candle. It's on the, the fragrance oil notes, but I, I don't get any rose. It's definitely floral, but rose isn't part of the floral um, scents that I'm smelling. All right, the hot throw. Unfortunately, this didn't get any better. It actually dropped. It's a two out of five for me. It was barely detectable. Sad to say it was very light, but what I could smell, it smelled like perfumed strawberries. Beautiful, but where is it? All right, staying in the strawberry theme, uh, strawberries and buttercream. The first impressions are this smelled like a strawberry shortcake. Pete loved it. That's actually the one that he wanted me to test burn in his office. Um, so let's get into it. The cold throw. This is a 2.7 out of five. It's very sweet, not in a bad way. It's just very sweet, super vanilla cake and strawberries. I mean, it. she nailed it. Strawberry shortcake. So let's move on to the hot throw. It's a two out of five, I'm sorry to say. It was super soft and light. I mean, you're getting the sweet buttercream first, followed by the strawberry. So it's more creamy strawberry than strawberry cream. Yeah, just buttercream forward, light strawberry, but even lighter fragrance. Yeah, the strawberry ocean air and the strawberries and buttercream, they're not filling a room. Even a, So I had one of them in, a, in our half bath. Mm, it, it was barely detectable. All right, bamboo and oak moss. Let's get into the cold throw. I rated this a three out of five. It's really strong. All right, we have uh, oak moss and cypress forward with a little bit of light musk. I still think I can smell like pine or fir. Like I'm still picking up other like tree notes in there. But anyway, I think this is a great candidate for blending, especially after already smelling it just in the cold throw. I, I was already imagining what I would blend this with. You could add like floral notes for a spa, like lighter scent, um, or you could add something like sandalwood and musk to like maybe like pump it up a little bit, add some oud. Oh, I, I think you could just really make this a way more complex scent. All right, let's talk about the hot throw, bamboo and oak moss. It's five out of five. You guys, I could smell this in the hallway before I went into the room. So I had this in one of our primary bedrooms. It has an ensuite. It filled up the entire area, the bedroom, the bathroom, the like the walk-in closet. It was 
incredible. It's super oak mossy and musky. Really, really nice. It's not overpowering. So the five out of five is like, it wasn't cloying, like it was, it was nailed perfectly. It wasn't too strong one way or the other. It was just a perfect blend of like oak mossy muskiness. And I really enjoyed that. It didn't um, like attack my senses and feel like, oh my God, the room is just, you know, drenched in this candle. It was, it was actually a really perfect compliment because it enveloped the whole space. All right, there we have another first impressions follow-up with the cold throw, the hot throw. I love doing these kinds of videos. I have an entire playlist. If you love them too and you wanna check them out, they're right here for you. Yeah, let me know if there's any other new fragrance oil companies that you think I should check out. Um, I would love to know what your recommendations are. So until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye.